You're still watching Ways. Now, a shoe is not only a design, but it's a part of your body language. The way you walk, the way you're going to move is quite dicta um, dictated by your shoes. That's from Christine Louboutin. Um, so Wear Brown Shoe Day has been celebrated on December 4th of every year. Footwear, especially shoes, indeed play a significant role in everyone's life. It is the first fashion accessory that flashes in one's mind. Most often, we tend to prefer shoes with black, white, even gaudy colors like green and yellow, but what about a brown shoe? So it's a day for those who do not have a shoe with brown shade in their shoe rack to think again. It is said that an individual wearing a brown shoe the, um, is that person that is both respectable and trustworthy. That's why I trust AK. <laughs> So I didn't even know all these facts about brown shoes. You just wore it. Are you, no, so the thing is, everyone has to have, I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. everyone has to have a brown shoe. So mm -hmm. after your black shoe is mm -hmm. your brown shoe, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially if you're in the corporate world, you must have, how can you not have brown shoe? If I was going to wear a brown shoe, but I don't realize I don't have brown belt and I'm wearing, <laughs> and I'm wearing jeans, I say, no, 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 let me just respect myself. I wear my white sneakers. But you, 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 you made it worth the while. Thank you. you look thank lovely you. in your thank brown you. shoes. So you now much. you're respectful. Right. Yeah, thank you. In fact, <laughs> don't talk to me anyhow. Join the show. Show me that respect. Thank you very much. Hey, Uti, what did you find for us well, in the news? <laughs> you, we can't see your shoes now. You're on okay, Zoom. So, um, yeah, so my, my story in the news, I, I tried to find something that was in line with our topic of discussion today. Um, and the headline says, Nigeria, Nigerian consumer credit startup CredPal has raised 1.5 million US dollars funding round um, as it launches its range of credit cards. Now we all remember um, back to October when Paystack had the first um, exit at $200 million. Um, so this story really jumped out for me because at the time we were talking about um, hopefully that more companies would follow in the same route so I'm very happy to see that there are more companies like this. This is not a new company. It was set up in 2017 um, along the lines of um, giving, you know, convenient credit, consumer credit infrastructure. So I'm hoping that this, you know, this kind of news will continue to hear more and more of these kinds of stories about companies that are able to raise large funds and to hear um, other stories of other exits. I mean, there have been other companies that have ra raised funds like this in the last couple of years just hoping that, you know, the Amazons and Googles of the world will come calling the way they did in India and start to acquire these companies and really put us on the technology map. But, I mean, they went through the Y Combinator program as well um, and, and really doing a, a lot in terms of, of working with the international community or international tech community. So it's just a good, um, feel-good story for our struggling entrepreneurs out there trying to run a business. It is possible um, to do great things. Absolutely. Very, Absolutely. Very encouraging. Yeah, very encouraging. <laughs> yes, very encouraging. Once the stories start becoming frequent, it just builds hope. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of things that are happening. We just need to be hopeful. And thank you to for, for that sharing story, such yes. hopeful stories. Yeah, story. very inspirational. All right, so um, AK, what did you define? For Down us to in? the doldrums. <laughs> So um, I think Maury Coco took this story yesterday, and I just wanted to do a follow-up to the story. So it reads, um, from this day, it reads that presidency expresses shock as police move to stop judicial inquiries. So I remember when we were talking about it even before the show, that it was such a joke, like, I'm sorry, but it was such a joke when we saw the headlines, mm -hmm. that we were trying to stop people from investigating whether... Mm -hmm. So um, the shocking part was that <laughs> the Inspector General of Police had come out to express shock too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to say, ah, I'm not aware. He's like, not why aware. did this happen? Mm. You know, and um, that begs the question as to saying, are there no protocols? How can such an important decision be taken about such an important matter mm -hmm. that you know will not will not go on escape people would notice mm -hmm. how can you say at the ig you mm -hmm. do not know mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. can you say that this is strange to you so the presidency is expressing shock you too you're expressing shock and then you're asking your legal team i'm sure the head of the legal will express shock and all of us will be shocked it's okay it's we'll <laughs> very right. interesting and you know the funny thing is that um, I keep saying to myself, um, this country, uh, they will not, they don't, they cannot cease to surprise me, you know, because now who have they sacked? 
Mm. Who is that person that did that, uh, what's it called, that petition? Who is the culprit? Who is the culprit? culprit? Have they brought out the culprit to say, you know what, you are, you've lost your job, you are fired for this? Nothing. But why well, Everybody's just these, expressing these, shock. These, these, these decisions are too important, too empowered. Um, it's like taking a decision in a corporate organization. This is the type that the MD and the board will sign before you send it out. <laughs> Uti, can you concur? Please. No, I, I, I concur with you, but AK, okay, I'm going to get angry with you. Where in <laughs> Nigeria, excuse me, Honor, Lai Mohammed said he, he was on our way. You're right. Do I, should I start reading out the amount of times that yeah, our politicians and leaders have said they are unaware or they're in shock? Mm -hmm. I think we can make it to the end of the show, just reeling them out one yes, by one. So, so please, it will just being take a shock us the is normal show. in Nigeria <laughs> for our leaders. We are shocked. Yeah. All right, so my story is actually... Um, <clears throat> I don't even know how to explain the story, but let me just say the Try. headline. <laughs> the Senate asked federal government to buy COVID-19 vaccine for Nigerians. Um, but experts say Nigeria may not afford it without help. Oh. That's what they're saying. Um, yeah, the Senate on Thursday asked the federal government to make funds available for the procurement and administration of the COVID-19 vaccines in Nigeria. The upper um, chamber reached the resolution after adopting a motion by Ibrahim um, titled Urgent Need for Nigeria to Obtain and Administer COVID-19 Vaccine. So um, I am, well, I'm happy because he stated that many other countries had completed plans on procurement and distribution and, and administration of the vaccine. So he, he expressed worry that Nigeria had not pro produced a plan for procurement, distribution and, and, and administration of, the, of um, vaccines to Nigeria. That's his own concern. Um, first of all, we are in Nigeria. <laughs> we keep on telling ourselves that, that we are in Nigeria, where it is almost like if you want to plan ahead, you are seen to be like an outsider. That's number one. Number two, you already know this is coming. You already know that this thing is important. You already know the restrictions already that are on ground for the fact we have still been under rest restrictions from other countries till now. Some countries have not lifted the ban for Nigerians coming to their country. You already know all of these things. And you know that the future would be that everybody must have to get to that point where you have to, be, um, you have to take that vaccine. So why as, a, why, as a government, you're not thinking ahead of time to say, you know what, let us begin to set out funds for this thing that we know that is very important for the health and well-being of not only Nigerians, also the economy as well, because COVID-19 did not only impact our health, it also impacted heavily on our livelihood. So why would you not make this a priority is what I do not understand, that they will not have to now ask federal government to set, set aside. Should they be told? Um, let me play Uti's card for you. Wow, I'm surprised. That <laughs> <laughs> No. Was it not the same country that said they were going to give how many million to whoever discovered vaccines before COVID? <laughs> we'll be all right. No. You know, you know when it started, and I said I, I that just want to for some reason. Something there, Uwa. Hurry up. Yes. So um, <laughs> Nigeria is actually part of the um, Covax um, commitment. So Covax is uh, an initiative under, um, I believe, WHO and the World Economic Forum to make sure that the COVID-19 vaccines are going to get to the lower um, and yeah. middle-income countries. Mm -hmm. So the government may not necessarily um, have made plans or indeed communicated plans, but in the grander scheme of how the WHO and the international community is dealing with it, there is um, uh, possibilities or availability for funding to get these vaccines but i'm so worried also you know, like, it's so tiring Uti, to hear to this those vaccines Uti, i Sorry? said it's so tiring to hear this because nigeria is i mean we have funds why do we keep on we have which funds i beg <laughs> please let, let's leave the matter i understand <laughs> that let's, world health no, organization so would talk about, always see, step see, in. i talked about but, where money will come from yesterday when we talked about begging yeah. today i'm not even talking about money today i'm just saying you know what i i, I just know that you know in the race for vaccines at least somebody is going to make sure that there's an yes. allocation for Nigeria. Okay. How it will get assigned where we get tonight. When it gets to Nigeria, is a different story. Do you remember the miracle cure that came from which country was it? For how many hundreds of thousands? Madagascar. Nobody ever heard what was done with Madagascar. that cure. Mm -hmm. They they asked us for money and then everybody kept quiet on it and we've all moved on. So, okay. you know. God all right. loves us. That's God all. loves us. We'll, all. we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a break. A return. We'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back.